and welcome to today's lecture so today we will be discussing on naming computers connected to the internet so uh, like uh, you, yeah, now you know that internet consists of a collection of networks and in each network you have a collection of devices now see uh, to recognize those devices you should name them so without giving them the names you cannot recognize the computers so a host name is essentially a shorthand for a computer so you can uh, give a host name to the computer or other device attached to the computer network so um, you can also give a unique an unique ip address and what is an unique ip address it is the uh, physical address of the web server so computer requires names to distinguish one machine from another machine just as a name is used to identify a person place or a thing so how do you give these names so user typically do not deal with ip addresses but deal with host names okay so suppose if you want to find the uh, like a website of nbu then you don't have to Uh, remember the ip address of the server where this website is uh, stored so you need to know the name of the website okay so these names are arranged in a hierarchical structures uh, like you have nbu.ac.in okay uh, the naming hierarchy is based on the concept of naming domains each domain covers some sub subset of the entire set of names so at the top level there are domains corresponding to educational institutions like edu edu uh, like represents educational institution then commercial entities dot com like uh, you know like all the dot com websites okay like yahoo dot com okay amazon dot com etc so public organizations org dot org Uh, then government entities like dot gov etc so these are all top level domains for countries then after that you have a hierarchy okay uh, so each organization gets a name at the second level in the hierarchy let us take one example say i have taken some contents from geeks for geeks here okay uh, so geeks for geeks is written as geeks for geeks dot org so now it is possible to add additional naming levels with an organization and this is typically done to identify sub organization or departments within the larger organization suppose you have geeks for geeks okay now you you, you have a sub organization under geeks for geeks that is geeks as, like all the science subjects are covered under science.geeksforgeeks.org okay no so and then under science subject you have computer science so you can write geek, computer science dot geeks for geeks dot org okay that way so you can uh, like uh, maintain hierarchies okay for naming so uh, this is uh, a diagram like of the domain hierarchy so here you can see on the top of uh, this hierarchy you have the root okay so uh, like when dns maps the ip address for a domain so it starts from it starts searching from the root okay uh, suppose uh, uh, there is uh, like you have rpi dot, dot edu okay so first of all you will go to the edu then from there edu you will you will go to the rpi then under rpi you might have some other uh, like sub domain and uh, this way like hierarchies are maintained okay for naming the computers okay So similarly, you have .dot com. Then under .dot com, you might be having different sub organizations like Amazon .dot com, Yahoo .dot com, okay, etc. Then ORG, okay. Then 
uh, org for organizations then gov gov okay uh, like financial department of service bengal government okay that is having dot gov okay so that type of thing is there okay so uh, i think this thing is uh, like clear to you let us go to the move to the next slide now there are some guidelines or rules for the host names so for each element of the host name like it must be from 1 to 6 discussing guidelines rule or rules for host name so each element of the host name must be from 1 to 63 characters long and the entire host name including the dots or periods can be at most 253 character long so uh, valid characters for host names are you can keep letters from a to z then you can keep digits from 0 to 9 then you can keep hyphens you might have seen hyphens okay uh, then it but you have to keep one thing in mind the name should start with a character okay, but it should not start with a hyphen okay so host name and domain name a host name is a domain name given to the host host means the computer okay so where your uh, like contents are kept stored so you can give a host name okay so it is a human readable nickname that is associated with the corresponding mac or physical address which is a unique which is unique for every device okay. so although the terms host name and domain name are frequently used interchangeably they have a small difference in them so uh, all host names are domain names but not all domain names are host names okay and uh, domain names make ip addresses more human friendly so that i have already told you if you want to find out the website of nbu then you if you remember the ip address of nbu so there it is very difficult for anyone to remember the ip address so uh, if you remember it by nbu's name like nbu.ac.in that it will be easier okay to remember so this is all about like uh, the lecture on uh, that thing uh, yeah, naming convention so you have to remember all these things so for today lectures uh, that is all so thank you very much